Mod Cave is far beyond our expectation. It's the safest way of owning a house. My mouth is full of appreciation to Federal Mortgage Bank. Good evening and thanks for keeping a date with us again on another episode of Everyone Deserves a Home, a program sponsored by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to showcase its activities towards bridging the housing gap through mortgage financing. I am Kauther Anumba Halil. Recently, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria introduced the non-interest mortgage loan to the market in order to meet the needs of its contributors who for one reason or the other cannot opt for the interest-based mortgage loans. What is this loan all about and how can it be accessed? What makes it different from other mortgage loans? This is what we shall be looking at in this episode. We shall also have our regular segments in this package for today. I'll be back after this short break for the full program. These houses are expensive. How can he afford to buy a house in this place? How did you get money to acquire all this? Mami, sit down. I got this house through the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, rent to own loan. Uh -huh. The loan allows me to keep paying my rent until the amount I've paid sums up to the cost of the house. Then I stop paying rent and I become the house owner. You mean to tell me that kind of thing exists here? Everyone you see in this estate is a beneficiary. <laughs> Don't give me some wine and let me drink in my son's house. At the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, everyone deserves a home. Welcome back. We will begin with the news. Top in the lineup tonight are highlights from the inspections and monitoring by the management of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in Abuja. Details of this and other stories shortly. It's just this side. This, side. this is the only place that. The management of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, led by the managing director, Mr. Maduhamman has continued its site inspection of FMBN-funded projects within the Federal Capital Territory. The inspection, which is a key part of the bank's operations, is done to ensure that developers deliver projects according to the bank's standards. Sites visited included Madvan Global Services, Copen Investment Multipurpose Cooperative Day Day, Docs Multipurpose Cooperative Society Karsana, Manreg Nigeria Limited, Cafe District, DPR Staff Multipurpose Cooperative Estate, Dapay District. assessment is, um, is uh, reasonable. The Managing Director, Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Maduhamman, while speaking in an interview, commended developers who are working according to guidelines set by the bank. He called on such developers to complete their projects on time in order to begin packaging of takers. On the whole, I think um, the assessment is, um, is uh, reasonable. A few are on track and uh, we are quite happy with the uh, level of development so far. And also for those that have keyed into such projects to start packaging mortgage loans or rent-to-own loans for them to take over their properties. Maduhamman called on those lagging behind to step up efforts towards completing their projects, pledging the bank's support. We have a few that have um, lagged behind um, due to operational challenges. Um, some were started um, ab about the time uh, there was a COVID lockdown, so they've been project overruns, and uh, we're trying to see how we can assist them to meet up with um, the expected deadlines. 
Executive Director, Loans and Mortgage Services, Lukman Mustafa, while speaking, noted that the inspection aims at having FMBN projects completed and to see firsthand the action management needs to take to facilitate timely delivery of projects. Today, our inspection centers around the fact that our projects need to be completed in order to deliver value to the contributors to the National Housing Fund. And the objective of today's uh, monitoring and inspection is to see what actions and decisions we need to quickly take so as to see to the completion of our numerous projects around. And I can say that so far so good. Most of the projects are ongoing as planned. And um, those ones that have one or two issues that are outside the scope of the design, will go back to our office and go and take actions that will lead to their timely completion. This is with a view to ensuring that the contributors to the National Housing Fund scheme move into these houses as quickly as possible so that the objective for which the fund is established which is to ensure that the workers of Nigeria, the low to medium income earners, are able to have shelters, their own homes, over their heads. The executive director also noted that the sites visited will be ready by the end of the year. We've seen about six to seven or uh, eight projects, and we are happy with what we have seen so far. And most of the promises and pledges that we have taken from the developers who are our borrowers, is that the projects will be completed on or before the end of this year. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, has called on members of the Town Planners Registration Council of Nigeria, TOPREC, to uphold the guidelines of the profession and ensure professionalism in urban planning. He was speaking during the inauguration of new council members in Abuja, where he charged them on the need to tackle challenges faced in urban planning and development. Fashola also called on the new board to ensure professionalism and raise the sector to enviable heights by maintaining global standards. Also speaking, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Works and Housing, Bashir Nura al -Ghani, observed that well-disciplined and adequately regulated professionals contribute to the quality of construction, infrastructure, and national development. Al Ghali noted that under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, TOPREC has the mandate to regulate and control physical planning in all ramifications. President Town Planners Registration Council of Nigeria, Isiaku Kura, urged the members to read and mediate on the act that established the council, explaining that their call to service would involve sacrificing time and resources. The program is Everyone Deserves a Home. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria has the interest of all its contributors at heart, and the bank continues to develop unique products that meet the needs of different target groups. To this end, it has introduced the non-interest mortgage loan to the mortgage market. Let's find out what this product is all about and what makes it different from other products of the bank. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria has a clear vision, which is to have as many Nigerians as possible enrolled into the National Housing Fund scheme so that they can benefit from the scheme. To achieve this goal, the bank has continuously modified its products and services to meet the varying needs of its contributors. Developing new products is another way the bank is exploring to further meet the housing needs of its contributors. At the beginning of the year, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria introduced a new mortgage product into the market. This product is created to meet the needs of contributors who by virtue of belief are not inclined towards interest-based transactions. 
the non-interest uh, NHM mortgage loan, as uh, I mentioned earlier, is to cater a whole lot of Nigerians uh, who, according to their beliefs, uh, are more uh, tended towards uh, non-interest products. And we know for the, for the sake of inclusion, of financial inclusion and making uh, our products more accessible to a wider range of uh, NHF contributors, that has occasioned the need to come up with this product. The non-interest mortgage loan is a system of mortgaging that allows for a repayment of mortgage loans without any interest attachment. As the name suggests, it, you, uh, you, don't pay, uh, uh, you don't pay interest on the loan, but there's an agreed uh, repayment uh, procedure or repayment arrangement that conforms with uh, the guidelines, the extant guidelines on non-interest products. So there is a repayment by the beneficiary uh, and uh, so that uh, it takes care of making profit for us as well as providing services for the uh, beneficiary of that product as well. Currently, the non-interest mortgage loan is only asset-based. This implies that the FMBN grants the loan only on mortgage basis to contributors who want to acquire houses through purchase. The product came up as a result of agitations from Nigerians. Some people don't want to apply for loans that uh, entail interest. So that was why the bank came up with the non-interest mortgage loan. And uh, it was easier for us because uh, we are dealing with assets. We are not uh, like giving cash. For now, it's on funded houses. We have not extended it to other products of the bank because the non-interest applies on assets. And the bank is creating assets by building houses, by funding estate. So for now, that uh, non-interest loan is on uh, some of these houses that we have funded and it's easier for us because uh, you don't have to pay interest all you need to we have a margin uh, a mark of rent that we charge depending on the period within which you want to at the end of it on that house the non-interest mortgage loan cannot be accessed for construction or in the place of a construction loan if we say we have to extend it to construction, that means we will be the ones to go and be buying the building materials for the individual. And uh, I don't think we have the capacity to engage into that uh, retail aspect. So that's why we are restricting it to completed uh, properties. NHF contributors can also access the non-interest mortgage loan under the NHF loan products. As an NHF mortgage loan, it's, it's uh, provided through the primary mortgage banks. Um, and so the individual applies through the primary mortgage bank to enjoy this, to, enjoy, uh, to, as, um, uh, to get a wholesale mortgage from the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria and is extended by the primary mortgage bank. To access the non-interest mortgage loan, a contributor needs to meet the following requirements, which includes an up-to-date NHF passbook, an application letter and equity contribution for NHF loans. The applicant will just go to any of our offices and say he wants to apply for the non-interest uh, loan and then he will identify the property mostly because for now we are restricting it to funded estate. Even if the, the property is outside the funded estate, as long as they can submit uh, documents that uh, a mortgage can be created upon, then we can process it under the non-interest. We'll sit down with the applicant, access his income, uh, look at the cost of that house and see how much we'll, we'll, we'll pay for the house or how much the house is to us. And then we put up a markup and then ask him, if you want this house, this is how much you are going to pay us. And this is the monthly or annual payment you will make to, to own that house. As with other NHF loans, 
The property to be acquired under the non-interest mortgage loan must not exceed 15 million naira. What is the name of my grandson? Suleiman. That's a good name. May the Almighty preserve him. I mean. Now that your family is growing, this is the time for you to start thinking of a house of your own. <sighs> Abba, the thought of this has always been on my mind. To build a house now, you need a lot of money. And that is what is holding me back. Sunny, what you need is a mortgage. NHF mortgage loan. With NHF mortgage loan, you own a house upfront and pay gradually over a long period of time. Abba, I will go to the FMBN office right away. Come join us at FMBN and let's shelter Nigeria together. Glad to have you back. We love to share stories of NHF beneficiaries to bring you testimonies of people who have benefited from the scheme and to let contributors know that there is hope. Again, we'll share the story of another beneficiary of the National Housing Fund scheme. Hear how he went about his home ownership journey. I can assure all Nigerians that if you apply, once it is available, you will get. Definitely the scheme is real. It's a big testimony to stop being late. Excellent. Seriously excellent. It works and is real. This beautiful two-bedroom bungalow belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Richard Emmanuel. They are now homeowners at the FMBN Latte Estate Kauru Nasarawa State, courtesy of the National Housing Fund Scheme. At first, Mr. Richard did not believe in the reality of the National Housing Fund Scheme until he became a beneficiary. Richard, who was a realtor, is familiar with the National Housing Fund. He did not let the opportunity slip out of his hands when he heard about the FMBN La Pe Housing Estate which was being constructed at the time. Because of uh, uh, the nature of our work and uh, uh, the level of experience we have in um, the government's effort to uh, help get affordable housing to people, uh, we registered and uh, got our uh, passbook for the um, housing contribut <laughs> contributory um, scheme. And uh, so after, after that, we were looking out for products that were available in the market and when um, LAPI came up with uh, with this product and they were developing something we came we inspected the place we saw it and we loved it and of course because uh, like I said being from Nasra State myself uh, so we saw it and the, the, the location was just too good for us and then we met them at their office and uh, sought to know what to do and uh, they introduced us to Ferra Mortgage Bank um, who assisted us to get this house. His motivation into giving the NHF scheme a trial was the ease the scheme came with. You know, access to land is very, very difficult in Nigeria. You don't know uh, where to go and don't get swindled when you, when you talk about access to land. Uh, uh, we've had a lot of stories about uh, people who have um, attempted buying lands to build their own houses. And uh, most of the times they, they fall into the hands of uh, fraudsters. Uh, um, visited the site and discovered that uh, it was work in progress and it was a very beautiful uh, site. The contractors were doing marvelously well. We 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 came in, looked at the um, the products they were offering, and uh, I think it was um, it was very easy for us to decide when we discovered that we we're actually not going to pay anything serious to be partakers of it, and then have a loan from a Federal Mortgage Bank to liquidates uh, the, 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 the cost of the house over time. Richard Emmanuel, who has lived in the house for five years now, got a two-bedroom semi-detached bungalow at the cost of 6.5 million naira only. He tells us how it feels being a homeowner. One of the first things you get is a uh, peace of mind. Discovering that uh, you really didn't pay for, you, you really didn't part with so much to own your house right 
and then now that you have the house you're living in it and then you are made to liquidate the loan gradually i mean uh, it keeps you very focused uh, as a young man uh, you you'll be able to uh, uh, do a lot of other things together because you're living in your house and you see a lot of people dreaming of having their own home and you're already living in your own house and you you parted with um, not so much and you're paying it gradually it's actually a dream come true and uh, it settles uh, one from a very young 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 age for him buying a house outrightly and paying via mortgage is a much easier arrangement you have gotten a house that is already certified it means you have government title to it um, acquiring a land and processing your title is one hodl, right? Um, getting your title and getting your building approval to start up a building is another hodl. Now, assembling all the professionals that you need to start building your house is another thing entirely. Uh, I, be I bet you don't want to um, experience uh, the challenge on site between uh, yourself and your workmen. You you have a lot of uh, uh, stress that has been taken that has been taken off you by the developer. You understand? Uh, it's it's a it's a whole lot of stress, and so you pay um, you pay for this amount, and you already have keys to your house. It's a whole stress off. He describes the NHF scheme as a scheme that gives hope, especially to low and medium income earning Nigerians. This is one product that the government has offered people, especially young people like me, to give them hope, to say yes, we can we can we can be better as a people we can be organized as a people uh, if you are doubting if this is real or, or, or also uh, please visit the federal mortgage bank at their offices and and, and get to get some information i think you can even uh, google them check their websites get more information these things are as real as as your name is Our question for the week is, what documents must a cooperative present to access the cooperative housing development loan? The cooperative society goes, under, um, goes through an accreditation process where they provide all the details of the registration of the cooperative society bylaws and all that, that um, and their office, which the bank will now accredit. At the same time, accreditation process will, uh, would be done on the developer himself. So that gives you know the bank um, uh, the uh, or the comfort that they can borrow, and their membership and their developer is also in a position to also develop on behalf of them. In addition to that, um, they they provide their land, they design their buildings, um, do the bills of quantities to tailor to their affordability. They also um, seek planning approvals from their respective planning authorities in the locations that they they would want to build so when that um, is all together put together and sent to the bank we now give approval and it's go they now get approval and go to site and begin to develop this is where we draw the curtains on this episode of the program you can watch other episodes on our social media handles showing on your screen. Until I come your way again with another edition, visit the bank's website at www.fmbn.gov.ng or visit any of its branch offices near you for more information. Remember, everyone deserves a home. Have a good night.